Local police say huffing behind the wheel, not texting, is fast becoming the latest driving distraction. And the drug the drivers are inhaling, an aerosol can of computer keyboard cleaner. News 10's Brent Frazier is here now to fill us in on the latest drug du jour. Brent? Patrice, one Sullivan woman, Peggy Camden, is a repeat offender of driving while huffing. She's also a household name among police and prosecutors. And yesterday, she had a two-year-old child in her back seat. Hard to believe, but sheriff's deputies say somebody was paying Peggy Sue Camden to care for their child. She was a babysitter. Camden had that two-year-old girl with her yesterday, with one hand on the wheel, investigators say, the other on her huffing can. It's likely not the intended use Dustoff had in mind for this aerosol can of electronics duster. The chief deputy says Camden was inhaling the stuff and appeared to be enjoying every minute of it. She went through a couple minutes of uh, incoherence and, and uh, laughing and, and moaning and euphoria on her part. Deputy Dave Haddock says the 43-year-old Camden got her hardcore habit flagged yet again when she wrecked not once but twice Thursday afternoon along this county road in Sullivan County. Concerned neighbors rushed to the wrecked minivan to offer aid. The female had locked the door so she, and she wouldn't let anybody get the child out. Eyewitnesses eventually rescued the two-year-old, even put out a fire Camden's crashed van was creating from the accelerator mashed to the floor. And had consistently sat there and spin the tire so hard that the friction caught the grass on fire. Camden's huffing habit got her busted just this past February when her car hit a CO2 tank at Casey's in Sullivan. And Camden was, according to court records, inhaling the toxic vapors. That two-year-old girl was quickly scooped up by the Department of Children's Services yesterday and returned to her parents. As for Peggy Camden, she remains in jail tonight on a $20,000 bond, no 10%, meaning sheriff's deputies are making it extra challenging for Camden to make bail and get back on the road. Mike. Thank you very much, Brent.